on the lake. I figured, you know what? Don't really have anything going on. It's too rough to fish offshore. I'll take the bass boat out and have a relaxing afternoon. Take it out to the lake. Hadn't ran it, you know, since last early spring, which is one clue. I just went through it a few weeks ago, getting everything ready because winter time comes, I start thinking speckle perch. I like doing it. So I was like, you know what? I'm doing nothing. Let me take the bass boat, take it out to Palestine Lake, which is where I'm at. Right now I'm drifting as you can see. I figured, you know what? I'll go, put it in the water, just run some gas through it. And while I'm here, I mean, I've got some lures. You know, I've got some nice poles. I've got all kinds of stuff here, as you can see. Ready to go. So, Palestine boat ramp is kind of tricky. So you put the boat in the water and the wind's blowing into the boat ramp, so it's blowing me into the shore. So I shove off, get on the front of the boat, grab the trolling motor, and I just troll myself, trolling motor myself out a little ways until I get deep enough, because I don't know if the engine's going to run, truthfully. That's the entire reason I came, was to see if the motor can run. So I get far enough out for the motor to go down, and I throw out my anchor, go to crank the motor, graveyard dead. I charged the battery before I put the boat up. Should have turned the key at the house. Graveyard dead. Trolling motor did work, mind you. It's a 24 volt system, which means it has two 12 volt batteries. That's up in the front of the boat. So anyway, turn the key, graveyard dead. As I'm grabbing the key, I already know what happened. The key is still in the on position. So I never turned the key off which means the entire time the boat was setting up in storage, the key was on, which means the battery panel was engaged, so the battery drained down to dead. I was like, all right, well, I'm not going to be able to do no fishing, so all I'll do is I'll pull the battery out of the back, I'll go grab a one of the 12-volt batteries off the battery, you know, up front from the uh, trolling motor. So I go through the trouble to undo a battery from the trolling motor, take it, undo the battery in the back, take it out, it's sitting right here. You can see there's two batteries sitting there. I'm getting there. So anyway, put that battery, take it out of the trolling motor, take this one out of the back of the boat. Back here, you see my pliers. Exchange them. Go to turn the key. That battery was dead. So I have three batteries in the boat. So far, two of them are dead, and I'm just offshore from the boat ramp, anchored down, trying to get the boat cranked, just so I can run some gas through the boat and have some fun as I'm drifting. So I thought, you know what, well I got one more option. The trolling motor did work, so I know there's some juice in one of them batteries. Clearly it's not the one that I just pulled out and exchanged in the back, so I go to the front and I unhook the third battery, three of three. Come back here, take out the second battery that I had already put in, and I put it right here in the floor. Right there. Put that battery in there, and it went whammo. She fired up, check this out. This is a 1997 Mercury 75 horse. Hang on a minute. Let's try it again. Huh? Yeah, baby. And all of y'all thought I was stranded. I can't fish because I don't have no trolling motor. But I can ride. That's all I came to do was ride. Look at that. It's putting right along. No problem. Give a little gas. Yeah! I ain't scramming! Anyway. This is just a PSA to all of you who have had your boat setting up for a while. Check your stuff. Make sure your batteries are charged and for for the love of God, before you leave the house, turn the key just to see if the engine turns over. Before you go to all the trouble, drive 35 miles, back it in the water, troll offshore from the boat ramp, anchor down, and then try to crank it. Just turn the key at the house to see if the motor turns over, and if it don't, fix it before you leave the house. This trip was, as usual, a learning experience, as every trip is. Something always goes wrong, so you got to be prepared for it. 
So I'm not going to be doing any fishing while I'm here unless I do some drift fishing, which is not what I wanted to do. But I am going to be able to do what I wanted to do and run the boat. But it's because I had a plan. It wasn't a well thought out plan, but it turned out that I still got the motor cranked and was able to accomplish the number one goal that I came here to accomplish, and that was to run this boat motor. Before I go to Okeechobee or somewhere down south where it's a long road trip and not know if it works. So I got a couple batteries to buy, exchange these ones for the trolling motor, and then put some gas in this baby and she's ready to go. Y'all have a good afternoon.